Thank you. Um, party leader, um, Madam Mayor, friends and colleagues. Um, I want to take the opportunity uh, to welcome you to the launch of the 2009 DUP European Election Manifesto. And at the outset of the, this, I want to thank um, all my colleagues and friends for their tireless efforts over the course of the last number of weeks and months. The DUP is in the business of working for votes. And in every part of Northern Ireland, I appreciate the mammoth effort that is being mobilised to ensure that unionism remains the undisputed voice of Northern Ireland in the next European Parliament. I'm also particularly pleased to be here in Beaver in South Belfast. The DUP is committed to empowering communities such as those who live here. And I am determined to assist local communities for a fairer level of funding and ensuring that there is real community involvement and funding that is not just uh, for the few, but that can uh, uh, be gained by those communities who previously have not been able to access it before. During this campaign, it is an honour to have travelled literally thousands of miles across our country as the Democratic Unionist candidate. What a privilege it is to be part of a strong, united and coordinated team that can provide genuine influence to deliver in Europe. Our party has a proud record of service and delivery in Europe, and I look forward to reclaiming and building on Dr Paisley's legacy of 25 years of service and real achievement representing Ulster in Europe. His was a record worth talking about. Um, by the way, Dr Paisley apologises that he's unable to be with us today. He was at an event out of the country last night, but I look forward to canvassing with him again in Ballymena on Saturday, uh, where I'm sure we will have a great day at the Ballymena show uh, and meeting all the good County Antrim folk and all the visitors to the area. Um, our 40-page manifesto sets out our policies and agenda across a range of issues at home and in Europe. I am pledged to promote Northern Ireland in Brussels and be a full-time advocate who can influence the decision makers in both the Parliament and the Commission. As a party, we are unashamedly against the European Federalist Project and will be to the fore in opposing any further erosion of national sovereignty. My priority will be to work for the best outcomes for businesses, consumers, farmers and the beleaguered fishing community. I will work with all of those who have the best interests of Northern Ireland at heart. It is time to make sure the opportunities for Northern Ireland are maximised. This election is a defining moment. In seven days' time, the people will decide who speak for them and who will represent them. But more than that is at stake. The election will determine whether Republicans will overtake us and become Ulster's number one MEP in Europe. It will also determine whether we continue to chart a successful course for Northern Ireland, controlling our own destiny, or whether unionism becomes weaker and marginalised. For the first time in 40 years, there are politi stable political structures in place with the prospect of real peace and prosperity. This is good for the people of Northern Ireland and good for unionism. For a generation, unionism was under siege. Now we are in a position of strength again Gone are the days of talking about a united Ireland. Even Republicans blush at the notion of Irish unity in 2016. Let us build for the future, recognising that 2021 is the 100th anniversary of the creation of Northern Ireland. Over the next 12 years, 
we must strive to build an even better Northern Ireland for the next 100 years. Devolution is good for unionism and good for Northern Ireland. By standing and fighting our ground in government, unionists are winning. Our strategy is working. Next Thursday, it is vital that unionism keeps on winning. Everyone knows only the DUP has the strength of character and the rugged determination to see off the electoral challenge posed by Sinn Féin. On every previous occasion, the DUP has topped the poll for unionism, and a second unionist candidate has been elected on our second preference votes. This time, some may be tempted to stay at home and not vote. But this could prove disastrous to the cause of unionism. If unionists stay at home on the 4th of June, unionism will be damaged. If unionists stay at home on the 4th of June, there is a real danger that Sinn Féin will top the poll and two nationalist candidates will be elected from Northern Ireland. Just imagine what message that would send out to the world. After all the progress that has been made in recent years, it would be a disaster for unionism. But there is time to avoid that outcome. Our fate is in our own hands. I want to keep the DUP first in Europe and to assist a second unionist to get elected. Republicans are counting on unionists sitting at home or wasting their votes on candidates that cannot win. Sinn Féin's success is dependent on vote splitting by a candidate that wants to destroy devolution. Let's not play into their hands. Consistently, voters are telling me that it is this party that they are depending on to shape the future and keep our country on the right track. Let us leave here today determined to work for a victory that will maintain the DUP and unionism as Ulster's premier voice in Europe. Thank you.